What's up, old boy? Uh, sits up way higher because I had to put uh, stock springs back on. Just get done changing the strut. <clears throat> I'll put these low-end springs back on the, the other car when, I'm, when it's time to do it on the red one. But that's the BG spring out. They're not much difference to be honest with you. Other than this is a farther part spring here. As you can tell, these are closer, which sets the car down lower. It's about there any difference between them. <clears throat> I went in through here, painted that all back up. So I gotta do a lot of painting on this car sometime. But that's why I got two of them, so I can have fun in the one. Painted all that up through there. Yeah, looks light right there, but it's not. Must be just the way the light is. All right, I'm gonna put this strut back up in there and get to the other side. I'm not sure if I said it yesterday or not, but we're running the nittos in the back. So, we got a little bit of life left. These Toyos are really nice tires. It's a wide motherfucker. Hook's pretty good. I went out last night, but no one was out. Whole damn city was dead. But. All I seen was diesel trucks. <laughs> well, you see a lot of that shit these days. But, yeah, I don't think it turned out pretty good. I had to put those shitty ass springs back in, but I painted up underneath to the, on the rail pretty good. So, do the other side and right where the jacking point is underneath, I sprayed that. It'll eventually fix this panel here and then on the other side too. So. Might as well do a little pre maintenance before it gets any worse. Alright, guys, paint it, subframe, and up through here on this side. Yeah. Up through and up to where I did before. It's a little dark on this side now, but as you can see, everything's done the whole way down through. So, yeah, I painted underneath. Did a lot of the underneath the car, too, where the jacking points are and everything like that. I want to this year take this off, get underneath there, underneath there, and there's a little bit of rust over underneath this jacking point, so I want to clean that all up. Put a little metal in if I need metal, and probably use a little fiberglass. And then put that back on, and you'll never be able to tell. So, I want to repaint it this year. Maybe this winter, repaint it again. But basically, I want to go around. I'm putting a bunch of parts on again this year, so everything I tear out, like what I'm doing like this right here, I'm just going to take it out, clean it all up, and then keep spraying it until, basically until I get everything. So yeah, all right. I'll show you what it looks like with these factory springs on it. Makes it more look like a damn monster truck or something. It's it's up there. These are rally cars though. A lot of them are used for rally and track and yeah, drag. I like the drag racing better, but yeah, not looking too bad. Renewing everything. Well. That's what it looks like. Obviously with the bigger wheels up front, you're gonna have, it's gonna set a little higher. I'm gonna end up buying two more for the back. Now for a drag setup, you don't want the same size in the back. You want a skinnier tire in the back. Uh, a lot of what I've come to find on front wheel drive is stock in the back for 60 foot skinnies for more mile an hour <clears throat> so 195s would be the best for the track but on the street 
it's nice to have four of the same. That's a bit much, but you know, big, bit big, but it'll work. Get coils, I'll be able to drop it. I'm gonna roll the fenders this winter. I just didn't feel like doing it now. But that's the whole suspension back on its stock. Shouldn't squat as much in ASN now either, which will help keep the tires on the ground. But yeah, there's some beefy fucking tires. But yeah, it's got the. It's kind of a flat. If you look at the wheel arch, this is still up a little bit higher in the back. But yeah, just figured I'd show that shit. Um. Well, yeah, we got the the two fives in the back right now. Everything painted in there today. I gotta get this, as you can see. Well, yeah, you can start to see little pieces. The damn stone and chip road. Me and my brother was on that day. Did it real hurt, hurting on it. <clears throat> but got all this done. It sucks. I had to put that junk ass looking strut in there. I guess I should have painted that. But they're going out of there anyway in a couple months. I'm going to get uh, coils here in a couple months, so once I get those, <sighs> I'll be able to drop it down. But yeah, what I like to do is, for the on the 13 setup now, it'll have the skinnies in the back probably, but I might not get skinnies this year, I might just do the 13s with the 195s in the back for that setup, so yeah. Gotta get some touch up paint right there. A couple spots there. Right there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to repaint it again this year. It's not the best looking, but you know, I do all my work myself, including paint. Oh. That was done all with spray can, everything on this car. Eh. Alright, guys. Take it easy.